basically I'm just pre-drilling all my holes to hold the glass down to the uh, roof. Uh, and I spaced my holes at two inches apart. And so basically what I did was I took some fender washers that are maybe like a, a, an inch round and I put them down and I put the edge up against the glass and I centered the hole so that my fender washer doesn't hang over the edge but that I actually have space for it also. flat square frame on top go with Lexan Lexan L E X A N glass it's a little bit more expensive than plexiglass and even glass but it's like 250 times stronger than glass it's flexible so it'll bend around the corners and stuff and it's shatter resistant so it won't shatter when like hail hits it and things like that my video doesn't work until you're done oh really Explain what you're doing. I'm just, uh, I drilled out my four corners and then I'm just using a chalk line to mark the, the lines that I'm going to cut. At least you can't see my plumber's crack. <laughs> Are you going to put that in the video? Sure. They're crying. The lambs are crying. need my uh, saw. So one suggestion I do have is if you're going to cut out an opening like this, make your last cut as close to a rib as you can so you don't get as much vibration. If I made the last cut way out here, the whole roof would shake. Whoops. I don't know if I had your head in that. Oh. <laughs> I can barely see it so bright up here. When you're getting glue to glue wood to the metal, get yourself a polyurethane formula glue. That'll be really good. tape, ceiling tape for roofs. Uh, have some number 12 by one inch self-tapping roofing screws that have a nice little ceiling washer on them. But I'm also going to be using these, I think they're like one inch or one and a quarter inch fender washers uh, to distribute the weight better. And I'm going to be using crystal clear sealant underneath and around all the hardware. Let's get to work.
so when Skylight is done, it is installed. That's not the one, it's the one that I'm crawling through. There's our finished Skylight. I know you can't see it from in here. So let's go up top and take a look. Follow me. All right, so uh, up top here, uh, as you can see, Skylight is in. Minus one bolt uh, over there in, in the corner. Over there, I ran out of flat washers. But it's in and sealed, yay. Now I just have to do the one that I'm sitting in. <sighs> okay, so here's what's going down today. Cheyenne is at the front of the bus and she is working on sanding so we can fill some holes. I am cutting out the windows like this one so that we actually can start finishing the windows. The point of this weekend is to get everything done to where next weekend we can insulate and start putting in the floors and the ceiling. So what I've done is I have cut the rubber along each of the windows and then I have fried the top of the window out and it should just come right out. Look at that, woo! So while Mike's at work, we destroy the bus. All of the marked windows are now out of the bus, including all of the emergency exit windows. So some of these windows, like this one right here, is going to get uh, okay. replaced with one of the windows we popped Take out. Down. And now we're gonna move on to taking off these uh, walls that we couldn't get off because of the emergency exit windows. Nope, go around. And then we're gonna clean the floor oh, so we can paint it. Yeah, cleaning. So the table saw decided to poop out when we only had two more cuts left to make like that. Pretty hot. The motor. So you think it's a bad motor? Uh, we might have overworked it. Whoops. Like, too much too like, too much of the time, you know. All right. How is Drew feeling about this weekend? Uh, always a little bit slower than I expected. Uh huh. Always. Yeah. And I'm really upset that we don't have a table saw. <laughs> Oh yeah, tell us about that because we didn't video it. Yeah, I think that the table saw got too hot. Because uh, I just don't know when to stop cutting. It could be a combination of cutting too much over and over and over and over without breaking. It could be pushing it too hard through the saw. It could be a combination of putting side pressure on it and causing the blade to bind up and work really hard, all of which caused the motor to overheat. And now we don't have one. Nope. So yeah, fun time. Those two windows we got filled in, this red dotted window was one we were gonna take out, but we replaced an emergency exit window. Then we have this window that needs to be filled in. This was another, you see the red dot? It was another replacement window, so it came out of another section of the bus. The bus still looks kind of pooey. But we're starting to get the fearing strips up, even though it's been a nightmare because the drill bits keep breaking. I've broken like five drill bits here. Yeah. So we dislike That's metal. One. And the goal is that this weekend we have okay. the interior, so uh, the floor painted. It's positive, negative. It's like uh, it's and ready it's like for installation. So all these windows have to be. Tell me what you're doing, babe. Babe, tell us what you're doing. Put it down. Ugh. This is positive. This is negative. And why is that important? Well, because I wanted the fan to spin the right direction. And uh, <laughs> I didn't know which one was positive, which one was negative. So this is negative. This is positive. Okay, so black is positive. White is negative. Because we don't want the stink staying in the bathroom. Which is kind of the opposite of what I'm used to. I'm used to black being negative. Okay, that's good. Um, Annika, next to my sink, there's a bunch of wire terminals that have that, have, that go on the end of wires. Could you please bring me one? Bedroom sink? Next to my bathroom sink. Okay. Yeah. There she goes, ladies and gentlemen. The go-getter. Annika is my go-getter. <laughs> Poor girl, she has to do all the errands for us. Oh, they didn't do it that time. <laughs> what are those? It's because they 
Yeah, he's a shorty. <laughs> And this is episode one of Confessions of a School Bus. Converting a school bus stinks. It's the confession that I'm making today. All right, so here we are in the garage area and I'm finishing cutting up the window panels. There's some finished ones there and I'll show you what else I'm doing. Sorry for the wind. So here are the panels that we're cutting them out of. These are the old roofing panels. I'll come over here and show you. Uh, so here's, see where I lay them out and I cut them on these pallets with my cutoff wheel. As you can see, that cutoff wheel is pretty much gone. And going down the side of the bus, uh, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think after it's all painted, it won't look too bad. I'm gonna kinda like Bondo filler in some of the gap in between them, I think maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, we replaced some emergency exit windows with regular windows. Uh, there's some more windows that are in, so I got two more to do here and six more over here.